Hello everyone! For today's video, ipapahita ko nga sa inyo kung ano nga ba ang itsura ng mga KTV rooms dito sa China. Katatapos lang ng aming work and we decided na mag hangout muna sandali and we will be visiting Mr. and Girl KTV. Dito sa China, sobrang uso ang mga KTV rooms. Kaya naman, if you are planning to visit China, don't forget to experience yung kanilang KTV rooms kasi sobrang enjoy and sulit yung ibabayad ninyo. For tonight, we decided to take 3 hours sa kanilang room and that's about about 170 RMB pesos or in peso that's 1,275 pesos. If we will be dividing that one into 3 hours, parang nagbabayad tayo ng 425 pesos sa kanilang room per hour. And if you will be considering the cost of living dito nga sa China, sobrang affordable na ng rates nila. And for your information, yung kanilang mga KTV rooms has their own style. So itong style ng pinuntahan namin is medyo parang futuristic yung kanyang itsura sa loob. Tingnan nyo naman, yung hallway pa lang talagang punong-puno na ng mga LED lights. Kung sa Pilipinas, yung ating mga KTV rooms ay literally for singing only, sometimes hindi pwedeng kumain sa loob. Yung kanilang mga KTV rooms dito sa China is that para siyang pang party style. You can actually celebrate your birthdays or special occasions inside and at the same time, pwede din kayo mag-order ng inyong drinks, ng kanilang food, and even beer. In other words, yung kanilang mga KTVs or singing room is literally a party room. Usually, ganito yung itsura ng kanilang mga KTV room sa loob. It's very spacious, perfect siya for groups, it's fully air-conditioned, and at the same time, may sarili din siyang CR sa loob. And in addition, syempre, soundproof din yung buong room. Kaya kahit na i-maximize natin yung volume ng speaker sa loob, hindi tayo maririnig sa labas. Another thing about their KTV rooms is that you can fully control yung setting sa loob ng kanilang KTV. So you can adjust the temperature, you can adjust yung kanilang mga lighting, even yung sound effects ng speakers. Pwedeng pwede nyo silang i-control gamit yung kanilang controller or touchscreen controller sa gilid. Since I've mentioned earlier na this singing room is also considered as a party room, may mga games kayong pwedeng gawin dito, especially for drinking games. Meron silang mga dice dito just in case you wanted to play some games and of course right now kasama ko yung aking mga workmates and we are literally enjoying the night kasi bukas pasukan na naman if you are thinking na puro Chinese songs lang ang pwede ninyong kantahin sa loob ng kanilang mga singing rooms you are wrong kasi pwede kayong kumanta ng English and take note talagang updated sila sa mga English songs kahit na bago pa yan. Wala silang mga songbook dito and usually you can actually scan yung kanilang mga QR codes and literally choose any random song that you want. And that's it. The next time you're gonna be visiting China, don't hesitate to enter yung kanilang mga KTV rooms kasi they are very welcoming to foreigners. That's all for today and I'll see you in our next travel vlog here in China.